Uh, tell me what is Snowflake? We'll start from basics. So today, like demo kind of thing. Uh, what is Snowflake? Tell me, anyone? Any idea? So you remember, if you know the answer, try to say. <clears throat> tell me what is Snowflake? Anyone? It is a cloud data warehouse. It's a cloud-based data warehouse. So data warehouse. Mainly for what, what purpose it is for? Mainly for analytical solution. Okay, we'll see the basic time thing. It's a cloud-based data warehouse, mainly for data analytical solution. It is used for data storage, data processing, and data analytics. Okay, see one more time. So it's a cloud-based data warehouse mainly for analytical solution. It is used for data storage, data processing, and data analytical solution. Got the point? So clear so far? Now tell me before that, what is OLTP? What is OLTP? Anyone, what is OLTP? Operation for OLTP? Any idea, anyone? No, it's a online transaction processing okay same thing what is OLAP OLAP online analytical online processing. analytical processing. processing so these are the basic things if you don't know don't worry okay so these are things we'll discuss later point of time OLTP is nothing but online transaction processing online analytical processing okay now simple example I try to give every time so see I'm having so I go to the ATM my balance is 10k I want to withdraw 3000 okay so this is simple thing so my balance is 10000 i'm i want to withdraw 3k now tell me balance is what so balance is 7k now what happened we'll get a immediate response saying that so your amount has been debited with 3k and your balance is 7k now its response is fast this is called as day to day transaction so day to day transaction same thing now what happened i go to the online banking okay now I want to get last five years statement. Okay, tell me the response will be given immediate or it will, use, it will take some time. Uh, anyone? So see, so when compared to this, this thing, the response will, will take some time. It will take some time. Reason is that what? Say historical data. Okay. So understand the concept, historical data. Now see, so day-to-day -day transaction is nothing but we store in data base database same thing historical data where it runs store in the data warehouse okay data. now tell me snowflake is for oltp or olap it's a mainly for historical data historical data so one more time so snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse mainly for analytical solution it is used for data storage data processing and data it's a olap solution that is for mainly for historical data Tell me why. So why I want last five year statement. Generally, why, what is the purpose of seeing last five year statement? To check how much I earn, how much I spend. Same thing. Tell me why company wants to maintain historical data. Anyone? Any area? Anyone? Why the company wants to maintain historical data? To analyze the data, what they have processed and what they have saved in the database previously. Okay, so to analyze their customer business. Okay, are their business? Okay, see business. So where are they getting the profit or losses? Okay, in which region they are getting the profits or losses? So they want to analyze their business so that they can able to improve their business. Okay, ultimately what company wants? So profits, not loss. Okay, so they want to improve the, okay, so they want to improve the campaign. How can improve the campaign with the help of? data that is historical data so you want more time so understand the concept snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse so data warehouse is nothing but say ol ap ol ap okay now it is used for data storage processing and data analytic okay now tell me what is sas here sas operation for sas uh, SaaS, it says software, software as a service. As a service. Uh, tell me what exactly it means software as a service in the sense like what? What it will do? So no need to install any software or any hardware. Okay, see so this is sim simple. So no need to install any software or any hardware. The infrastructure, the infrastructure or the, okay, so patches, or operation 
So everything be managed by the service service provider provider. Okay, got the point. One more time. Snowflake is a SaaS model. No need to install any software or any hardware. So just we should create one account and we should okay work on it. Okay, so it says Snowflake is a SaaS model. No need to install any software or any hardware. Tell me why. So what's the purpose of Snowflake? Mainly it's a data migration project uh, tell me what exactly data migration project means anyone any idea oh, what is the data from one source to another place okay see what happened so snowflake is mainly for data migration project in a sense like what moving the, the data from the uh, from the what from the one data source one to source what to another. one source to another snowflake. data source okay see it's a snowflake so mostly snowflake is a mainly for data migration process so we should we are moving the data from one data source to snowflake tell me what are the data sources it can be so remember if you work for any project we need to work on either oracle database or tell me what the databases you should work for sql or tell me what is SQL? Not SQL. Oracle SQL Server. SQL Server. MySQL. Hana. DB2. SAP Hana. Ah, then Netesa. Okay, Green Plum. So remember, we need if you work for any company, we need to work on any of the disk database. Oracle SQL Server. MySQL. Teradata. Okay, so Teradata. Then Amazon Redshift. Okay, see. So these are the data source. Amazon Redshift. Next one is that word. So hard up. Okay, so so we need to work on any of the post degree. Okay, so this data, which can be Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, DB2, SAP HANA, NetEza, Greenplum, Terra Data in a similar fashion. You have CSV files, pipe separator value, tab separator value, then JSON, XML, Avro. So of the any of the data data sources, we should migrate. Okay, so CSV, PSV. Now what happened? We should migrate to snowflake snowflake tell me why companies are want to move their data to snowflake important why suppose like you're saying like snowflake is mainly for data migration product so this data we are trying to migrate to snowflake uh, tell me why companies wants to migrate what is the purpose of these things any idea performance anyone? performance cost cutting okay see which a for so mainly for what so mainly so perform mainly for cost cutting. So every companies are moving to Snowflake or the cloud because of to reduce cost, to reduce cost. And in, one more thing is that what? So this, this databases cannot able to handle huge volumes. So when huge volumes in the sense like what? So performance will get degraded. Okay, so got the point of see, simple thing. So why companies are moving to Snowflake to reduce the cost? And one more thing is the huge volumes, this, okay, databases are data warehouse cannot able hand. So simple example, suppose like I'm having one phone, it's having 128 GB storage is there. Now what happened? Now it's occupied 120 GB. Tell me what will happen? Our phone will what? It will be slow because when the volume increases, the performance degrade. Now what happened? Now, now we'll move to this thing to Google Drive. Same thing in the company's data, they want to move to historical data, they want to move to cloud. Why? Because, because of cost cutting, so huge volumes, the performance, and the security reasons and the ease of maintenance. Okay, so main and say SaaS model. No need to install any scalability. software. So scalability because of all these reasons, what the companies are moving this data to Snowflake. One more time. So as a part of Snowflake developer, so we should migrate the data from any of the Oracle database, SQL Server, MySQL, DB2, all these things. Now it's saying like what data migration? Not moving the data from one data so tell me what type of data we are trying to migrate what type of data we are trying to migrate tell me anyone what type of data it is, it is table store procedure so see so remember so in, in real time now what happened you'll have the phases format will this so phase one phase two phase three like this okay see phase one phase two phase three okay see Okay, now what happened? Phase one, what we're trying to migrate? The tables, tables will get migrated. Okay, same thing. Now, what is the phase two? We'll try to migrate the views. So procedures. So views. Okay, see. Next one, what we'll go for? So the procedures stored procs. 
are UDFs or functions. Okay, so remember, so you are saying like moving the data from one data source to Snowflake. So it data can be, it can be tables, it can be views, it can be stored procs or it can be functions. Now tell me, so how many tables will migrate approximately? Five, 10 tables are approximately any idea? Any guess, anyone, any idea? So remember, this is like a basic, okay? So if you're not able to understand, don't worry. Okay, we'll discuss later point out. Uh, tell me how many tables approximately? Any idea, anyone? It's like, okay, so 1,000 plus tables will migrate. Okay, so 200 to 300 plus we need, okay? Tell me how much volume you can able to expect? How much volume? Any idea? How much volume? Anyone tell me how much volume you can able to expect? The data migration part in in mil, uh, megabytes, uh, gigabytes, uh, any idea, anyone? It's most like terabytes of volume we should handle. One more time. So we so remember, if you have less volumes, Snowflake won't won't come into picture. When you have huge volumes, so millions of records, then the Snowflake will come into picture because less volume we can able to go with any of the databases are data warehouse but when the volume is increased like terabytes of volumes so this normal databases data warehouse cannot handle to handle for the point of, so see okay now tell me what is the role we are we need to after completion of this course role or profile anyone any idea yes tell me what's the role snowflake developer so snowflake developer or snowflake we are called as data engineer okay engineer okay see this is our profile either developer or data because we are creating creating multiple data pipelines okay got the point as a part of snowflake developer we should create multiple data pipelines to ingest data from different sources and put into snowflake see what happened so assume like my data is there here here ultimately we should bring all this data to Snowflake like this. We can able to okay. So go to the point of one more time. We'll see one more time high level. Now tell me what is Snowflake? It's a cloud-based data warehouse mainly for data storage, processing, and analytics. It's a SaaS model. It's a OLAP solution. Okay. Now what happened? Our role be Snowflake developer or data engineer. Next step is third word. Okay. So we are moving the data migration project. What exactly we are trying to migrate? We are migrating the tables, so views, procs, and functions into Snowflake. Tell me why companies are migrating. The reason is that what? So because of cost cutting, so performance. Okay, then, uh, then what happened? Huge volumes. Okay, the ease of operation, security, and we can have scalability because of all reasons. Companies, they want to move their on-premises data to cloud. Cloud is Snowflake because of cost cutting, performance, huge volumes, so scalability because of all this reason. So they are trying to migrate. Okay, so this is class of a simple example. I'll try to explain. So I'm having ABC, one company is there. Okay, it's a so assume like car sales, assume like call sales. Okay, now I'm the CEO of the company. I want to know what is my profit in 2023 year. But no, this car sales is there in US region, UK region, India. So in three regions, it is there, US, UK, India. In now tell me how the data will be stored. Suppose like it is having in Oracle database. Okay, simple thing. Now what I'm saying, so this car sales company, ABC company is there in US region, UK region, India region. Now requirement is third word. I want to know what is my profit in 2023. Now data is there here. See 50% of data is there in so US region. Here it is there in SQL server. Here 30% of data. Okay, so same thing. Now what am I here? 20% of data in the flat files. Now tell me if I want to know the profit, can I learn? Now we need to bring all this data to one place where we should bring this data tell me we should be to snowflake okay now what okay. is this concept called as moving this data from on premises to snowflake is called as data migration, migration. Project. migration what we are trying to migrate the tables okay so tables so views so logic the procedures and functions we are trying to migrate okay so this is fine so we are bringing tell me now data is set we are having 100 percent data is there in the tables or some format Tell me, so this guy can able to understand these tables. Huh? Now what happened? On the top of this table, we should do the 
transformations transformation tell me how can you do the transformations with the help of what concept anyone how we are communicate with the snowflake what is the language you use equal sql sql sql, SQL, SQL squares okay see what happened so now data is there in tables this data on the top of this data we should do transformations tell me how can the transformations what are the statements what are what are things we should use <clears throat> tell me comments dtl dml dcl no, that's fine okay now question is that what how are the transformations see question is that what so we are bringing this data we should do the transformations what are the transformations or what are the things we are having one second let me open this one. Okay, see what happens. See, we should understand the okay, aggregate functions, analytical functions, okay, case statements. So these are the transformations. So what the SQL transformation use? Mostly aggregate functions, analytical functions, multiple tables, joins, set operators, okay. See case statement, decode, pattern matches. So this all the concept we should use CT. Okay, got the point. Huh? So see, we should bring all this data to one place. Do the transformations with the help of SQL like aggregate function, analytical function. Now, what happened on the top? We should create to use and we should give to whom? Tell me ultimately, we should give to the reporting team. Reporting team. What they will try to create? They try to create the dashboards. Dashboards. Got the point. I see one more time. So our data is there in different sources. So we should bring all this data to one place, do the transformation. Create use and give to the reporting team. Ultimately, what they try to give, they try to visualize this type of dashboards. Got the point? I see. Okay, see, ultimately, they can able to visualize this. See, these are the aggregate functions, analytical function, multiple tables, joins concept, group by concept having. See, ultimately, what? So, we should bring all this data from different sources, the different sources, and put into Snowflake do the transformations with the help of a scale and ultimately create use and you to the reporting like power bi or okay so tab view or alter anything so they can able to visualize this data in the form of dashboards and stories score the point ultimately as a part of snowflake developer so see one more time as a part of snowflake developer what we should do we should create multiple data pipelines tell me what is data pipelines what exactly it will do Anyone? Uh, what will do? Data pipelines. So, what's the purpose of data? Normal pipe. What's the purpose of normal pipe? Moving the water. Water. Same yeah, thing. Now, what happened? What we are trying to move? Moving the data from different sources. See, so see this image. So, see from here, we are trying to migrate the data into Snowflake. Snowflake. This is called as data pipelines. As a part of Snowflake developer. We should create multiple data pipelines and put into Snowflake tables. Now, what happened? Okay, bringing data, doing the validation. And next step is that what? So, do the data quality. Okay, and do the transformations and create views. And we should give to what? Reporting guys, so that they can able to analyze the data and they can able to create views and ultimately they can able to create the dashboard for visualization purpose code of quantum see one more time we see this image so data see my company data is there here 50 percent 30 percent 20 percent ultimately we should bring all this data to one place so it's a centralized repository do the transformations with the help of sql so do the great functions analytical functions joins and try to create the views they can able to visualize this data this is called as data migration project okay so our will be snowflake developer bringing data from different sources do the transformations with the help of sql and create the views and you see what happened so there are so much of views so much of tables it will take one to three years of project will be there okay not a single thing it will take so three years minimum one to three years to develop all these tables into migrate into snowflake any doubts anyone any doubts see before that you should understand what are the team members we we are going to work? Uh, tell me, anybody, any idea what are the team members we are having? Anyone? Any idea, anyone? Team members? Now, see what happened. So, see, we are having Snowflake developers or data engineers. It will be like, okay, so junior resource and senior resource. Uh, any other any other team members? Any idea? Anyone? We'll have yeah. admins, 
okay which admin snowflake admin okay, snow snowflake admin okay so the databases creation all this will be okay so the user roles okay same thing now we'll have snowflake architect will be there architect uh, tell me who will do the testing which guys will do the testing uh, which guys testing are uh, testing any idea anyone no one so testing will be done by qa team okay so qa is nothing but so quality quality assurance team okay so they will be testing uh, tell me who will be the requirement to us any idea requirement in real time any idea anyone requirement business analyst so ba that is business analyst okay these are the points we'll discuss later point of time so don't worry okay so these are the high level we should work okay. so business analyst okay so qa team requirement given by ba team so same thing uh, in a similar fashion now uh, tl is nothing but team lead so project manager okay uh, in a similar fashion now the clients tell me who are the clients which countries will have us client uk clients so european clients singapore so depends on the company project the clients the us project uk project europe project singapore project sometimes india projects also will be there okay so go to the point of these are the points we should remember in our day to day activities when you're saying interview so day to day activities and what's the roles and responsibilities and the project explanation so these are all the things happen so which country project what domain project okay so e commerce okay see e commerce these are the basic things understand as you know if you're not able to don't worry e commerce so banking domain insurance domain those who are coming from it they can able to understand so insurance domain okay so retail there are so many domains are there okay so depends on the project we should put like this okay see one more time our role will be snowflake developer our data engineer so snowflake admin articulate testing team so business analyst team lead project manager this all the clients will be there clear so far yes any doubt sign one so it's a simple thing okay see understand that word so our data will be there in different location we should bring from different location and put into snowflake for the point of so see this image okay see so data is there here from here i want to take this data and i want to put into snowflake okay one second let me open ppt for you one second One second. And second is it? So simply it's a migration. Actually, moving. See, this is okay. So remember, Snowflake supports multi clouds. Okay, see, remember, Snowflake support multi cloud supports AWS. That is Amazon Web Services supports Microsoft Azure. It supports GCP. That is Google Cloud Platform. See, data is there from AWS, from Azure, or from GCP. We can able to get the data. See, now see this. Repeating. One second, second. Okay, now it's just not working. We'll see. Okay, we'll see this one in Monday. Okay. Now what happens? So see, simple thing. What? See, my company data is there. What? It is there in. Assume like it is there in files. it is there in one database it is there in sap hana or anything okay see my company data is there here here this data i want to move this call as data migration tell me what are the objects tables views procedures and functions we are trying to migrate into snowflake now how what i said so snowflake supports multi cloud okay what are the cloud supports aws see from here we should bring the data from here to here. this is called as data pipeline we should create the data pipelines from here to here and after this we should do the transformation with the help of sql by using aggregate function analytical functions 
joins and ultimately you should go to the to whom to the reporting team it can be tableau power bi quickly or looker so bringing from different sources doing the analysis with the help of sql so how we are communicate with the help of sql that is aggregate functions okay some average and analytical functions joins and give to the visualization how they are trying to give with the form of so views okay got the point of see ultimately bringing data from different sources doing the transformations and giving to the like this way here so far and notes as nine man it's a high level discussing okay so snowflake is a cloud based ultimately data migration okay see so this type of data okay so our data will be there in different sources from different sources we are putting into snowflake okay for the point now uh, tell me daily what type of call will have what type of calls any idea anyone those who are looking for okay will have a scrum call or status call we'll see the same thing daily okay scrum call date status call or daily stand up what exactly will do in this things anyone what exactly will do here scrum call or status call or what exactly will do any idea anyone it will do deployments and developments and uh, okay in follow up discussion okay see okay our progress of work okay our work okay our work should be okay so our our status of work should be given to all the team members okay see what okay which type of work we are progressing we are progressing or not or any blockers are there okay these things we should give okay this is called as status call or scrum call or this is panel by the scrum master scrum master will do all these things okay we'll see what exactly same thing we have ticketing tools any idea what the ticketing tools will have ticketing tools uh, ticketing tools service now okay so zira okay so zira service now okay then we are having okay monday.com there's company company it will be different azure devops okay so these are the ticketing tools we'll have okay so zira ticketing now what's the purpose of this thing so the work will be assigned here so that we can able to get it done okay simple thing why you're reading snowflake i'll try to give you example suppose i want to i want to start a startup company okay startup company assume like abc for five years i estimated it's having 100 gb so i pay 100 gb for this one i pay 10 lakhs rupees to them now simple thing is that what for year one okay it occupied only 5 gb volume same thing year two it occupy 10 gb same thing year three i'll try to give one example you get some clarity 20 gb same thing year four i got 50 gb on year five i got 90 gb tell me for the first three years we don't have the that much use. but what happened as a part of agreement if use or no use what happened we should pay to 10 lakhs but what happened when you go to the snowflake no cloud what happened okay if you use for one hour we should pay for one hour it's called as pay as you go model in the sense like what for one hour if you use the service what happened we should pay for the same thing same thing go for ola or uber what happened tell me if you use for one hour service we should pay for one hour only one hour only the same concept here it's called as pay as you go model pay as you go in the sense like what so for one hour how much you're accessing we are going to pay to them okay and one more thing is that snowflake support multi-cloud see aws azure and gcp gcp okay see the same thing so suppose like day this is what this is aws account now data we can able to put here from here we can able to access the same thing and one more important is that snowflake support okay support structured and semi-structured data okay see the same thing so go back here see okay so we'll see the same thing so click on this value okay load data browse simple thing i try to explain one example okay see browse we'll see the same thing in the snow snowflake concept see snowflake support structured data json format park it avro orc so it supports semi-structured data as well okay it supports so structured data as well as semi-structured data okay so that's why so every companies are moving to snowflake because of what so because of cast cutting so performance and huge volumes so ease of 
maintenance okay so maintenance and security and we can able to go for scalability also we can okay so one more time we'll see one for two to three minutes and close this topic okay tell me one more time anybody what is snowflake high levels discuss so this is like just a basic what is what so from monday onwards we'll see actual things uh, tell me one more time what is snowflake it's a cloud-based data warehouse mainly for what oil ap data storage data processing and data analytics okay in a similar fashion tell me what is our role our role is what snowflake, snowflake developer data. or snowflake, snowflake data, data engineer. engineer and what are the team members have snowflake admin architect uh, then testing team so ba team the team lead project manager this all things will be there okay the client will be there okay so this is client uh, which client it can be us client uk okay then so European, Singapore, depends on the company project we see. Okay. Now what happened? What is the scope of the project? It's a mainly for data migration project. So migration in the sense like what? Moving data from one data source. It can be Oracle database, SQL server. See, if you work for it, after completion of this course, if you join any company, you should work on any of the database, SQL server, Teradata, okay, MySQL, DB2, okay, so, okay, so Teradata, okay, SAP, HANA, so Redshift, okay, any of this data we should migrate. So what type of data we're trying to migrate? The tables, the views, the procedures, and functions, functions, okay, see, we are trying to migrate terabytes of volumes. It will be there for one to three years, depends on the project, okay, see. So now we are having what? We are having the daily scrum call, the status call to give the updates to the team. So this, so daily you should understand. So what are things? What is STLC? Okay, so these things, okay, STLC. Okay, Agile methodology. These all things going forward, you can able to answer because these are important things, okay. And what is SaaS? So software as a service, no need to install any software or any hardware. So just create account and we can able to. And Snowflake support, multi cloud that is AWS, Azure and GCP, GCP. What the point? Uh, in a similar fashion, what? So see why companies are moving because of performance, cost cutting, and huge volumes. Okay, so because of all this reason, so we are trying to migrate. Okay, now so bring so as a part of Snowflake developer, bringing data from different sources, doing the validation, data quality check, transmissions, creating you. Ultimately, we should go to the visualization team. They can able to visualize this data okay so any dots has no anyone so just a high level what exactly we'll do okay so if you see this image that is ultimately we can okay so moving from different sources bringing to snowflake do the validation quality check okay duplication data null handling the transmissions multiple tables joins ultimately go to the consumption layer they can able to visualize the data okay so this is the thing okay so visualize this data which you want to know first you should have strong in sql so this all the things should be covered okay database data warehouse this also first sql should be complete then only you can go because ultimately we should do the transmissions with the help of sql only sql only. got the point 